Hey YouTube, Romeko here. I'm just here to give you a short video on the Legendary Six Samurai deck, a standard format that most people run uh, with some of my own favorite tech choices. So here we go. As usual, three Kagemusha, three Kageki, three Kizan, two Grandmaster, one Inishi as a tech choice, one Hand of the Six Samurai as a tech choice, one the Six Samurai Yaichi as a tech choice, one the Spirit of the Six Samurai as a tech choice. So that is 15, 15 monsters. Uh, I'm just actually letting one of my friends borrow the Grandmaster right now, so just using a proxy. As for the spells, One Reinforcement of the Army, one Gateway of the Six, three Shein Smoke Signals, three Six Samurai United, one Dark Hole, one Giant Tunade, one Monster Reborn, two Mystical Space Typhoon. For the staple lineup, usually uh, I think either 90% or 95% of the cards are staples, uh, meaning staples to this deck or just staples in general. It's really difficult to run this deck without without uh, Gateway or Six Samurai United or any of those cards. Uh, as for the traps, Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, two Compulsory Evacuation Device, and I only use this because I can't afford Solemn Warnings, two Dimensional Prisons, Two Musakani Magatamas, very good card. One Royal Oppression as tech, uh, it's pretty good. And two Double Edged Sword Techniques. So, the reason behind Royal Oppression is to kind of lock out your opponent after you've summoned either Sheen or Barkyon, or um, set up your field in such a way that it's good enough uh, for, you to, uh, for you to carry on throughout the rest of the duel without your. Um, without your opponent being able to special summon at all. Uh, as for the extra deck, uh, I personally run two Legendary Six Samurai Shien, but you can choose to run three. So, two Six Samurai Shien, uh, Legendary Six Samurai Shiens, two Naturia Barkions, one Brianak, one Scrap Archfiend for the level seven beater, one Black Rose Dragon. I personally run two Ancient Fairy Dragons, one Stardust, one Colossal Fighter, and those are just two random cards. Um, I also would suggest to run Mistworm, which I don't have at me, with me at the current moment, and also uh, Trishula. And I personally think Mistworm is better than Trishula because with three cards that you make your opponent take back to their hand, you can go for game pretty easily and quite consistently. Uh, one of the newer tech choices that has recently come up is uh, the Six of School of Dual Wielding. And this card pretty much allows you to, uh, if you have one uh, Six Samurai monster in attack position, your opponent uh, has to take, you can force your opponent to take back two cards uh, from the field to their hand. So this can set up a lot of OTK plays for you. And for example, if you summon into Legendary Six Samurai Shien on the first turn, you can set two back rows end your turn and your opponent will automatically try to go for the Shien because they know that it's probably the biggest threat but as soon as they try to start working on taking it out you can just flip uh, the Six of School of Dual Wielding and pretty much negate almost their entire turn. If they summon two monsters those two monsters are gone. If they summoned one monster in a back row or one monster in two back rows um, you can pretty much get rid of that. If you have two of them on the field it's it's pretty broken. It's, it's a game ending card the next turn you're probably going to summon a second Shien, another Barkyon, and the field is empty. It's 5k direct damage right there. You could possibly go for game if you have the right cards in hand. So it's a very good tech choice. I wouldn't recommend running it at 3. Um, the other choices that you also have for monsters are Shien's Squire to go along with uh, Shien's Dojo, and also the Six Samurai Yachi to play it around with Safety Zone. Uh, which is an amazing card as well. So, 
Uh, the only card that I left out in this video is the Cunning of the Six Samurai, which uh, I actually lent out to my friend, and I don't have a proxy with me, and um, don't have Solemn Warnings either. So that's pretty much it. Uh, even without Solemn Warnings, if you play your cards right, you can um, top in duels. You can you know you can you can win out. Uh, people start to think that this deck is some sort of autopilot deck that you can w close your eyes and win with that, but it's getting a, a lot harder, especially with around 15 to 20 cards, your opponents can uh, side against six samurais, and with that being said, uh, it's increasingly uh, getting difficult to play six samurais and uh, knowing where your opponent's coming from. A good choice if they ever try to puppet plant or effect veil your Shien is uh, dimensional, uh, dimensional Fissure, and that pretty much negates their puppet plant's effect um, effect Veiler's effect, or their Brianak from bouncing your Sheehan back. It's a very good card. Uh, if you're running two dimensional fissures and a kind of remove from play build, I would also suggest running uh, Return from a di Return from the Different Dimension. Um, aside from that, there some extra deck tech choices could be Naturia Beast, which I don't see the use for that often. It's just a good alternative to have if you can if you can get it. And that's about it. Alright guys, peace out. And uh, until the next video, take care.